Now to get the center section out, there's a very large snap ring in here. You want to get in behind it and something to pull on it. I usually use a 90 degree pick. Now once you get it start, started, then you can go in and and get it up there. Now this is different than the other snap ring for the clutches. This has a taper on it on the outside edge. So you want to be careful not to distinguish the two. And if we just go ahead and pull our speedometer pinion out. Just the one bolt at the back. It houses the speedometer. Just a bolt and one, one clamp on it. Just hold it on. And you go ahead and get in behind it. Okay, this is the speedometer pinion I'm talking about. You can go ahead and get in behind it with a screwdriver and just pop it out. The one gear goes on it. There's an O-ring around the housing. Then at that point you can just go ahead and pull the whole gear set, everything out in one shot. Like so. Then we can go ahead and just take that center support off. So there's a washer that goes in down in here. Then there's a Torrington bearing also. You can see the race right here. The race is that there's going to be three Torrington bearings in here and they're all different so you want to keep them separate. There's the other part of the Torrington bearing here. That's one. We have a reverse carrier. The van rides around. There's a washer. Goes in. Inside here. Rides on the carrier here. You want to check these gears. Make sure they're all in good shape. And then there's a spring and roller assembly. When you pull them out, usually if they're bad, the rollers will fall out. What happens is the springs split in them, and then they don't keep tension on the roller, and then the roller will fall out when you take it out. I'll just go ahead and put that back in there for now. It looks like that assembly is good. Then continuing on, there's two washers at the back. The three tag washer sits down in the case. This washer locks onto the gear set here. There's part of the other Torrington bearing. We'll go ahead and take this snap ring out. Snap ring. Output shaft. That's the last Torrington bearing here, which goes here on the output shaft. So that's number three. And this is number two in here. 
You can see this Torrington bearing here. And this was a race that came out of it. So that's number two. So we have one, two, and three Torrington bearings that came out of that this unit. <coughs> 